not a game, but I can tell you in a moment. It was the first time I saw him on television. And I didn't know who he was. And I saw him make this one run. He fought through the inch. He must have twisted and knocked three or four guys over, spun around, accelerated. And I said, oh my goodness. <laughs> what kind of animal is this? What kind of guy is this? All those moves and the strength and the tenacity. That was it. I didn't have to see any more. I knew this was a great runner. I was a runner that wouldn't die easy. It's like one of those cowboy movies where a guy is coming at him and, and he gets shot once because he down. He gets shot again and he gets again and again and he's still walking. Then all of a sudden, big explosion go boom, arm over here, arm over there, leg over there, and they still trying to get together. That's the type of runner I was. Walter Payton was more than just a great runner. He was the most complete football player in the history of the game. Rolling out left, being uh, chased by Browner. Stops and heaves the left side of the end zone for Payton over the uh, corner. Save for the touchdown! Payton left his unique mark on all who watched him soar up the all-time rushing list. Perhaps his acrobatic touchdown jumps leaped to mind. To some, it was his feared straight arm that they remember most. For others, it was his 275-yard performance against the Vikings, despite the flu and 102-degree fever. But for the authority on great runners, it was Peyton's sheer will that truly defined him. We were warriors, and he was a great warrior. If a guy runs out of bounds because a cornerback is coming up to hit him, that's not my kind of guy. Walter was definitely one of them, because he was a powerful man. Give me the heart of Walter Payton. There's never been a greater heart. Sweetness knew toughness and what it took to reach the mountaintop. Finally, after 13 seasons, he stood at the brink of the all-time rushing summit. Waiting for him was the great Jim Brown. Well, there's some individuals that if they broke a record and they did it the wrong way, they wouldn't hear from me. <laughs> but the way that he was, his attitude, his ability, I have all the admiration in the world for him. High formation, quick pitch to Walter, looking for the record. He's out of the 25 to the 26 yard line. Walter Payton becomes the National Football League all-time leading rusher as a passing Jim Brown. And listen to the standing of it. Walter Payton was my friend, uh, the epitome of greatness, admired and respected by all. In the pre-game emptiness of Chicago's Soldier Field, he's as inconspicuous as any superstar can be. His name is Walter Payton. And by game time, it's standing room only, for no man in football generates more excitement. Walter Payton is the only man in pro football who could have a three-yard loss described as brilliant. No runner works harder at his craft, and none has more yardage. age of egotistical superstars, Peyton is the ultimate team player, a man so genuinely humble that his teammates nicknamed him Sweetness. Each Sunday, the soft-spoken dynamo asks the good Lord to grant him strength. And each Sunday, 
the good Lord delivers. The toughness of a Tonka toy and the quickness of a cat, all rolled up in the game's most fearless running style. Mine is one that I got from my, my college coach at Jackson State, Coach Hill, and he always taught, never die easy, he said die hard. Whenever opposing defensive player is getting ready to tackle you, let him know that he is being hit. And that's why just before I get tackled, I try to explode into the uh, defensive man, and sometimes I break away and sometimes I drive for extra yardage. Said one NFL coach, one day, God just picked up a chisel and decided to make himself a halfback. The result? An unstoppable blend of talents that every NFL coach would love to have. Walter has two qualities that you don't really have in one running back normally. He has great speed, but not only is that, he has great strength for his size. Not only do you have to plug the hole up, but you got to plug the hole up twice, you know, because he's going to run through you, he's going to run through your tacklers. So when you combine that kind of strength with good balance and great running ability, then you've got to have a premier running back. I don't think any question that Walter Payton is the best in our business today. No running back has been so great for so long as Walter Payton. This electrifying performer has punished defenses and thrilled audiences. His remarkable combination of running brilliance, boyish enthusiasm, durability, and longevity is unsurpassed in NFL annals. unadulterated excitement you're after. Just watch number 34 do his thing. at work, he's movement and energy, and most of all, desire. Walter Payton didn't change the game, he just played it better than everybody else. Give me the heart of Walter Payton, there's never been a greater heart. His name is at the top of the list, trust me. Trust me, his name is at the top of the list. Kick ass, let everything hang out. I don't think any question that Walter Payton's the best in our business today. There's a 28 yard run by a Mr. Explosion himself on the very first play of the ball game. Walter Payton, in a class by himself, the premier running back in all of pro football. Never die easy, die hard. Just before I get tackled, I try to explode into the uh, defensive man and sometimes I drive for extra yardage. Walter has two qualities that you don't have in one running back. He has great speed, but not only is that, he has great strength. You gotta plug the hole up twice. A sensational run! Once you put wisdom with will on top of talent, 
you get what you call sweetness. 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 Yeah. Sweetness. Yeah. sweetness. <laughs> give to Peyton and they give to Walter again. Hurdles over the right side and gets this for the touchdown. He's the most complete back that I've ever seen. Taught himself how to be a really good receiver. Peyton over the Got shoulder. Save for the touchdown. He was the best blocking back that I've ever seen. The guy could throw a football probably 60 yards easy. During his career, Walter Payton rushed for 100 yards in 77 different games. He had 154 yards in a 1984 game against New Orleans. And two of those yards, less than a minute into the second half, were extra sweet. All right, here we go. Second play of the second half of the 21-yard line. Walter needs two to break the record. Quick pitch to Walter, looking for the record. Cuts back. The motivating drive for me has been for the athletes that have tried, but yet and still have failed to reach that certain achievement. And also the athletes that, uh, that didn't get an opportunity to, like the Overstreets and the Delaney's and the Brian Piccolo's. You know, this simplifies what the game is made of. And what I did out there today is a reflection of...